welcome to another video from inside the Denali Design Lab. My name is Nate Bashan. I'm the director of product development here. And today we're gonna show you a super unique project that we were working on. We had a customer bring in his Indian Challenger and he's got this thing completely kitted out for ultra long distance riding. This is the type of guy who bought the bike a week ago in California, rode it 3000 miles to us after the dealer did some work there to finish uh, outfitting it with our lights and horns and brake lights. So uh, let's go take a look at this setup. Right, so this setup might not be for everyone, but it's pretty cool, especially if you're gonna be riding your bike on some seriously long rides. Let's just start up in the cockpit here. He's got basically every type of electronic accessory or Farkle, if you wanna call it, um, on this Challenger. Um, we've got the dialed in controller, which we'll demo at, in a little bit here. He's got a uh, quad lock phone mount hooked up. We got an infrared camera for spotting deer down range. Uh, we got front and rear dash cams, of course the cup holder, let's, let's be serious. Um, right here, this is one of our first jobs, this is our Soundbomb split horn installed, um, looking super factory on the side of the bike here, we'll demo that in just a minute. Let me move you to the rear of the bike, and uh, we got a flush mount B6 tucked in here, um, right underneath the tour pack, and that's hooked up for run and brake. Now I showed you guys that sound bomb split horn. Um, that was the acoustic unit on the, on the left side of the bike. On the right side here, we were able to stash the compressor unit underneath this engine cover. This is where the uh, charcoal canister, also known as the evac canister sits on California and international models, but on the rest of the models, it's completely empty under there. So that's a, a, really, neat, a really neat setup. All right, so we just keep this on so we can demo a couple of things here. He's got the electronic deer whistle all right so that's a sweet one but then up front here we got a real slick install of a pair of denali d4s mounted on the fork tube uh, that's a universal mount for this bike and it absolutely looks like it was meant to be there but check out this setup tell me if you've seen one of these before he had his dealer build him a, a custom light mount. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say here, full disclosure, it's, it might not be the way that, that we would have built it, but hey, look at all the real estate he's got here for accessories. This is his infrared camera. He's got the front cam and a uh, pair of D7s. So he's, you know, going all out when it comes to lighting. These types of riders put function over style uh, any day of the week and uh, that's that's exactly how we have this bike kitted out here is the dial dim controller that we have set up to control those lights we got the d4s on this green circuit so we can dial those up and down double click to switch over to the blue circuit that's those d7s so you can dial those up and down and right now we have them on zero percent so when you are riding around they're off but when you kick on your high beam, those are gonna jump to 100%. And I mean, you're gonna be absolutely blasting light down the road on this setup here. So real cool setup, real unique. And um, we're really stoked to get this guy uh, back on the road with all these accessories. All right, so we can go over the wiring a little bit on this bike, but keep in mind that this customer had installed a lot of other accessories before it showed up to us, which is what all these colored wires are. He's completely maxed out here. There is no more space, but I do just want to point out um, our B6, we were able to easily connect into the brake light circuit on this tour pack harness, and that was a super easy install. And then you can see under the seat here, we have our dial dim controller, and it's that nice and tidy. We've got the leads for the lights coming up. We've routed them under the tank, um, so that's all nice and clean. And then when we move to the front of the bike, the cool tip that I wanna show you guys is um, this little chrome bezel on the light just snaps right out. Um, and that's how we were able to access the headlight wire as well as the horn wire. They're located both right here. And we were actually able to do this entire lighting install without having to remove the entire front fairing. We just lifted up 
removed these two bolts on the tank, was able to lift it up and we could do the whole install from there. So that should give you guys a lot more confidence um, digging into your Challenger knowing that um, some of the most necessary circuits to hook up to for this type of install doesn't require completely disassembling your motorcycle. So it would be a shame if I didn't demo our sound bomb split horn just so you guys can see how loud these suckers are. Here we go, ready? All right, so clearly ridiculously loud. And what you probably saw is that thanks to our dial dim controller here, we're uh, hooked up to the horn circuit on this bike as well as the high beam circuit. So the aux lights are gonna flash when you sound your horn. And uh, that's a really cool feature that's only available in the dial dim lighting controller. And lastly here, I just wanna show you guys what the rear end of the bike is looking like with that B6 mounted in between the factory brake lights and the tour pack brake lights there. So real slick install, giving you a lot more light output and visibility to motorists behind you. So we're gonna keep this video short because our customer here wants to get back on the road and take this bike from Rhode Island down to Virginia area. Um, but really the main reason I wanted to make this video is because this build really shows how our range of universal products makes it easy to install Denali accessories on any type of vehicle. So when this Challenger came in, we didn't have vehicle specific light mounts, vehicle specific horn mounts, or vehicle specific lighting controllers. And this video really illustrates that you don't need that. So as far as mounting the lights, we had those D4s on a fork mount and it just looks absolutely perfect. Like it was set up that way from the factory. Of course, you guys saw that unique mount for the D7. Um, but looking at the split horn, we were able to mount the acoustic unit and the compressor on just simple flat brackets um, using just in stock, you know, basic brackets that we have available on our website. And same with the lighting controller. Um, our newest dial dim controller um, has just a universal harness that allows you to connect to the uh, vehicle's battery, switch power, high beam, and turn signals and horns if you want to activate those features. So we just identified those circuits on this bike and was able to hook right up and get all of those features and functionality. So really um, just the takeaway is that you can, you can get these products on any type of vehicle and it's just a matter of understanding um, what types of products we, we offer. So we'll be putting links in the description to everything that we used in this build. So you guys could set up your Challenger uh, this same way or, or any other bike that you have or vehicle that you have with our accessories. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys soon.